today's video I will teach you how to convert your 2D logo into 3D logo like this one but before that please watch this If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Here in Photoshop 2019, I already created a simple logo design. Having only three shape with different layers. It is important that I separate every shape so that it will more easy to control when we export this file. I will export this file as .svg file. But first I will need to hide other layers so that only one shape layers will export. I will select the first shape layer which is the ellipse one. Then the export as window will appear. Here at right side I need to change the PNG file name to SVG file format by scrolling down button then select SVG. Here I will not change any setting just remain the default value then click export all. Choose a right name that will fit to your shape layer so that later on it will be easy for you to locate. Do the same method of exporting for the remaining shape layers. Now it's time to open the third party application, which is I'm gonna be using the Aurora 3D Animation Maker. When this template window appear just click the new blank button located at the bottom part of the window. This will generate a blank space for you to start with. I will create a same size of height and width of my file. Then click OK. Now that I already created a new document the first step that I need to do is to import the SVG file that I already created. I will import the SVG file one by one so that it will be more easy to control later on. I will change the color of each shape according to the original 2D logo design. You can change the shape color by selecting fill color bottom located at the top of the window. Now that I've changed color of each shape the next thing that I need to do is to change the size of each shape. I will maximize my document space so that it will be more easy for me to see the detail. You can change the size by adjusting the X, Y and Z scale. Make every X, Y, Z scale with the same sizes so that it will not be distorted. By changing the bevel size from 0.79 to 0.0 it will remove excess size of the shape that look like a big stroke that is not necessary to the logo design. Don't forget to save your work time to time so you will not have trouble when the application crush for unknown error. I can create different styles and textures for every object that I want to make by going to fill color button. Here you can choose different kind of effects that will fit for your logo feel free by experimenting by yourself, but for this tutorial I want it to show this logo design simple as much as possible. I will add logo name by adding text tool located at the top of the main toolbar. Let's say my brand name is Flash. Here I can add a name and choose fonts that will fit to my logo design. Then scale it to the size where it can fit to the center object. By selecting the move tool I can move the logo name in the XYZ axis. I will move it upward to the center and adjust till it fit to the center object. Rotate the logo name until it align to the shape. I group the logo name to the center shape so that I can rotate both of them without changing their original position. Do not group two object if you're not in the default position or if the XYZ position is not in zero axis because it will cause a problem or will hard to rotate in the right position. 
put a zero value of both postgen and rotate axis before deciding to group any object. This will help you to rotate easily any group object later on especially when you start animating. Here at the bottom of the window you can find the animation time slider where we can add the animation for every object we want to animate. By selecting the center object and dragging the time slider to the half of time I can now add value in the rotate Y axis. I will add a 180 value of the rotate of Y axis which is the half of the 360 rotate position. Now I will drag the time slider to the end of the time and change the rotate value to 359. I will change the end keyframe to Y axis to 360 degree value and also the center keyframe to 180 degree value so it will rotate clockwise. I made the same method with the green circle and black circle. Group together and add animation on the timeline slider. But this time I change the value of Y axis to negative 180 and negative 360 degrees so that it will turn opposite direction. The next thing I do is change the value of current time position from the animation timeline from 3 seconds to 10 seconds so that it will take longer time to animate. I will change my background by selecting background button. In this window you can choose and pick any color that you like, choosing the high contrast color will help you more to emphasize your logo. Now we are ready to export this animation as a movie clip. In export animation window I leave everything in a default settings giving the file name only then click OK. like this video please don't forget to subscribe hit like and share button for more videos like this